Let's play the 20 matches plus 2 rematches in the tournament round of the April Fool's Weekly Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wife Life Studios. So I have finished the, at the third place after the qualifying round. And the two first places are Power Serve players. As you can see, I'm looking at their profile right now. Okay, so um, let's uh, go to the tournament round. Let's take a look at the uh, list of names to see if... Uh, I know some. Jim LaHaye is here. He's one of the top 50. He was now. He's uh, around the uh, 60 something places. Uh, I know Chu Ju. I know Flies, I think. Odyssey, I know. I have played them. Flies. So, yeah, so rap. Okay, well, I hope I don't face them too often in the cinema round because they are very good players, especially Jim LaHaye. Okay, we play with the base liner build for the start of the tournament round. Here is the lineup in real mode, in regular matches, I mean. Talking about the regular matches, I am so used to the speed, high speed of the regular matches. So when I start playing in its weekly tournament, this is funny because the speed, the speed is so reduced and, well, it's for everybody. So I shouldn't complain, but... I mean, when you're getting used to the high speed, fast paced play, and then you start playing like in a swimming pool, that's that's weird. Anyway, okay, this first match versus Joe Nell. I don't know. This I have played him once, I think, I re if I remember. Well, this was in the Tour 7. It's too bad I haven't played him a lot, so I don't know his style of play the way he plays. Well, let's try to adapt then. Okay, things are going well for the start. So with this um, low serve but aggressive base liner style, I do have some agility, but as you can see, my stamina is reduced very quickly because, uh, well, I have chosen not to uh, I have to take a, um, a string that gives me a stamina shear. So no choker cord, no... Um, wh what's the name of the, of the other cord? I don't remember, but um, there are some other cords giving you a stamina shear. So I'm not going to take them. I prefer strings uh, that gives me critical hits. At least there are one, like this one, Swallow Pulley. Plus, the Swallow Pulley is good because it's giving you some long catch. Not much. A tier 1 long catch only, but it is useful in a lot of cases. Okay, so my opponent is insisting on the backhand first to gain an advantage. To put me in a difficult position and then... Yeah, it was a miserable and first draw. And then hits the other side. Okay, so I started uh, pretty well for the start of this first match, and then afterwards things are going sore. Oh my gosh, this is bad, bad, bad for this. All those unforced errors, plus my opponent is playing very well, very accurately. Fortunately here, he committed an unforced error. Only one more match point to save, and we save it, the second point. Okay, deuce, let's go. Let's try to gain advantage, yeah, let's try to surprise our opponent there with this kind of drop shot, not really drop, but not far from being a drop shot. Okay, let's see, oh my, this is bad. Oh, was tricky, was tricky. Fortunately, he put it out. Well, let's consider it. To, uh, let's see that first match as a warm up. Fortunately, I won it, but my opponent should have won this match. Okay, so we are playing between Master 1 and Master 2 league players mostly in this junior level, so I guess that uh, all players know what they're doing here. They all play well. 
that's why I say to myself that it's never finished, you know, even when you're leading w- four four zero or four one it it means nothing that because the wind can change direction very uh, very fast, okay, so let's keep focusing. So this tournament round takes place between the 4th and 6th of April 2020. The match entry fee still is 20 f- grand coins for each match. And the winner takes it all. And I'm going to play this tournament round like a lot of uh, other weekly tournaments with w- my best character so far, the Victoria character. She's good for both um, all-rounder style and or aggressive base liner. Okay. Yeah, I think that my opponent is going to is starting. Mm-hmm. He's starting to see exactly my pattern of play. Unfortunately, I have been read through. Plus, he is playing very good tennis as well. I expected him to play on my backhand there, on the stroke. And no, not at all. And then he anticipated this drop shot here. She w- he was running. I saw that a bit too late. That's why, yeah, he was ga- playing on God mode here. Very accurate. There was nothing to do, nothing. Even if I anticipated this uh, s- stroke, s- this uh, winning forehand on my uh, my backhand side, I don't think that I, I was going to catch it efficiently. So I would have returned a weak backhand, and then he would have finished that off easily. So, well. I think that's a, um, a I ha yeah, I think that is a problem of string as well. As you are going to see in the next matches, I'm going to um to change the string. I didn't want to use um, my best strings first. You know, the severe and wire and the punisher gut. I wanted to keep them. Because um well when you use them is only profitable only I mean if you finish uh, in the top 10 at the end I say at the end of the weekly tournament so, uh, so as the, at the very end of the tournament round I mean oh cool a power serve and not strong for him just a decent for him even low players so well I like power serve players they don't they don't represent a lot, a big threat f- for me. I like playing them, I don't know why. I like playing high agility and strong volley players as well. Okay, he tried to outwit me, so, well, I outsmarted him back. Yep, that was not enough. A drop shot, a drop shot, and I was a bit too advanced there. Made this mistake. Well, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Yeah, try to um, surprise your opponent who has very low agility with uh, a drop serve or drop shots and play on his uh, weak hand, of course. And sometimes, if you can read the pattern where you can play on his forehand, there's no problem. Because if you know that he's going to hit on your backhand or return, well, you just wait there. There's no problem at all. Boom! Okay, here we go. Yeah, baby. 5-1, let's go. Alright, well, he tried here again to out with me. But it didn't work. I drop shot him back and well afterwards you just have to finish the job. Okay, he tried desperately to 
and make a cross court drop shot here, but it didn't work. It takes a lot of practice to do that uh, swipe. Well, not a lot, but I mean, you you do have to practice this swipe. It's the it, it doesn't come randomly, you know. It's not like a a button you tap and you you just do this swipe. You have to find a short and quick swipe move. All right, let's do the fourth match. Okay, let's discover our opponent. Here we go. So sometimes the game is taking a lot of time to find us an opponent. Fortunately here, it was quicker than I have. Well, a counter puncher. I don't like playing uh, Kaizo players much. Plus, this one is taking a Siren wire, so I'm going to die, obviously. He has tremendous uh, HDD for uh, a tournament. 49 is very good, of course. And I, well, a Swallow Poly has. Well, if you play the Swallow Poly versus um, another Victoria, I still have a, a lot of chance, but versus a, a very agile Kaito, it's very hard. Very hard. Okay, well, I think that I am going to detect this Siren Wire. I don't have any choice afterwards. I'm killed. I'm killed absolutely executed by this Kaito killer, Kaito assassin. Well, see, all oh my forehands are neutralized. Okay, plus I was a bit too advanced there, so bye-bye. Yeah, adios. Okay, well, I'm going to take a Bagel here, a golden tie break. I think that the 7 0 is a naval devil because, uh, well, you know, against this HID, you really need a, a string that hits uh, that delivers very hard forehand or backhand. And if you, if the only thing that you do is to suffer and to try to counter desperately the hits of your opponent that hits with uh, a Siberian wire, well, you have no chance. Okay, never mind. I'm going to tr correct that uh, golden tiebreak with a rematch later on. I'm going to, ch uh, to switch to Kaito a bit. I don't play with Kaito. Almost never. But, you know, I'm, I I don't like much the counterpunch uh, style. I prefer to uh, take the initiative to, in, to attack, to aggress, uh, to be aggressive, I mean, to, uh, to assault the weak hand of uh, my opponent. But let's try for some matches. For a change. Okay, Kato versus Kato. I have better forehand and backhand here, so it should be okay. Plus, I <laughs> played a kid in Silver and Wire. Uh, yeah, I forgot to change. I forgot to change. I shouldn't have wasted a Silver and Wire here. I think that this a Swallow Bully or was enough. Or even the Nylon String, actually. Because his forehand and backhand was... Uh, uh, they um, they are not good. They are not high enough to play in junior level. I mean, I'm a bit surprised to find uh, such stats in a junior level, especially um, between master one and master two players. I I'm not sure that this one. Sometimes you have challenger three players, you know, in the junior level. They can play sometimes. 
I have seen one. Uh, so one time. But that's hard because generally Challenger three players don't have the uh, experience required to play versus the, the ones who, who play in Master One and Master Two players. So even if they have the same cards at ca same capping etc., it's a, a problem of tactic afterwards, a problem of experience, and that's it. Some would say, "I I'm not I'm not going to say that I play at high level, okay?" But um, some would say that um, when you get used to the high level, well, you start to think differently, and you you start. To to play to in, to get inspiration from the from the best, I play a lot versus the uh, top uh, top 100. Let's say that some top 50 and a lot of top uh, 100 in the uh, tour seven. Because well, with that uh, with that total of trophies, I can't avoid them. I, I don't want to dump trophies in the tour six. You know to. Um, to lower uh, to uh, around one, one thousand or one one thousand one hundred. To um, to get the uh, the more trophies in the tour seven, and then, well, try to get the tournament six uh, trophies back, so that uh, so as to unlock the tour eight. I don't want to do that. Very simply because I with my total of trophies right now, which is not high but anyway, and. Uh, I can find very often players having 2,400, 2,500, and sometimes 3,400 Halep or 3,200 sometimes. So, and well, I lose against those players, but I'm closer day after day to them, and um, I can read. I can see how they play, how they move, um, how they place their character or anticipation to my hits, to my strokes. So, of course, they have better stats. Obviously, they have very high stats. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to lie. They have very, very good stats. Really, they have like 73 or 74 agility for Kaito, which is absolutely enormous. In regular matches, I mean, in not not in a weekly tournament. I'm not. I'm talking about regular matches. And uh, they have. I'm talking about Kaito, okay? They they play mostly with Kaito, to counter punch. So, okay, what's oh my gosh, what's a glitch here? And uh, they um, they have almost. Uh, oh my gosh, the invisible ball. Well, it reappeared, by magic. Unbelievable. They have um, 60 or 61 forehand and backhand, both, for Kaito. This is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, if you take into account the fact that Kaito is not at all strong in forehand and backhand, not like Victoria, so when you have 61 or 62 with Kaito, it means that their epic cards have been pushed to a level that is absolutely breathtaking. So a lot of them have started playing right, cause it, right from the start of the game back in uh, September or October 2019, if I remember. And uh, some of them even play in the early access mode. So they pre-register for the game and they play before the game was released, uh, officially, I mean, on a global version, and then well, I don't know. I don't know if uh, the uh, pre-registered the players who were y using the early access version had uh, some privileges, uh, like uh, they would receive some rewards in terms of uh, epic cards. I don't know. Okay, so here's a power serve, and well, a power serve player. What I think, honestly, I think that what they fear the most, what they uh, they really hate is uh, f when they have to face Kaito, because Kaito is very agile and and he can catch their serve, their powerful serves more easily 
and even they're strong for hand actually. And because, well, if you know how to counter the power serve players, because you just have to drop shot to m play drop shots, well, Kaito doesn't need a lot of power to make the, those drop shots. So, oh my gosh, too bad. Could have been a very good counter attack there. Counter for him. Okay, well, sometimes, of course, you return as you can, but. It's really too bad there. Uh, if the ball was passing the net, that would have been totally different. Yeah, see? Counter punch. And just after what you finish her off, because, well, it's just a matter of uh, agility. If your opponent has low agility, you, you drop shot, you make some drop shot. Okay, here she played really well for that point. There's nothing to say. Of course, let's try and make a drop shot. Drop serve. Okay, and then... Okay, so I'm not uh, used at all to play with Kaito. That's why Th that gives some weird stuff. I'm not used at all. So I play differently. I... As you know, playing with Victoria, who is left-handed, is different, totally different from playing with a, a right-handed character like Kaito. Oh my! No way! I let her. She has no more stamina. Come on! How can she try and hit that? Oh my gosh! Wow! That was cool. That was beautiful. Well played. Okay, well, let's try and do better. Yeah. All right. And for Sarah, the school. Kaito is really good to counter attack, really, to counter punch. I can understand why a lot of players of the top 50 are playing with Kaito because especially when uh, they can have very high stats with Kaito they are deadly really deadly players they very very good characters extremely difficult to outflank them and to wrong foot them because you know they just have to take the choker corn in regular matches I mean they just have to take that and with a 72 or 73 agility Plus the choker court is almost impossible. I tell you that I have tried very, very, very hard to outflank them. Top 50 uh, Kaito players that I call by the sweet name of Monster Kaito. Uh, well, they, they are almost impossible to outflank. I mean, you can play, you can play really very, very accurately. They will always catch, always catch your hardest forehand into the last pixel of the corner. You know, you can hit the the very, very end of the corner of the baseline and it, it won't do anything. They will just outflank. They, they won't let you outflank them. Okay, let's counter. So as you can see, I I don't have much problems with those uh, power surf players, especially if they start to play to try and outsmart. Because they, they don't have the build to do that, actually. So this one is starting to do weird things. When, you know, when you are power surf uh, players and, and that you, um, you see that what you do isn't helpful at all. Well, you, um, okay, here yeah, is a good point, but you start losing uh, patience and hope. Wow, okay, and then you, you start playing a bit weirdly. You do a bit uh, messy stuff. Okay, wow, three consecutive. Good, very good forehand. But I just have to wait, you know. I have a bit of that advance. I just have to wait patiently to, to counter that. 
How many times, how many times does she need um, to understand that <laughs> those drop shots won't work? Versus Kaito, come on. Well, 49, actually, the Kaito, you don't do that. Especially if this Kaito is not too far from the net. Anyway, okay, I forgot to free these slots uh, to open back, so let's open them before resuming the play. Okay, let's open them all. They are two or five bags, so they're not very interesting, of course. The developers have decided not to give us interesting cards anyway, so, you know, that's hopeless. You can't do nothing now. You can just wait to uh, open the good bags, the grand bags, you know, grand or uh, elite or king bags to get the, the good strings, or to, to buy them through sale uh, special offers in the store. In bundles package I mean wow okay I was a bit lucky there boom wow very nice forehand okay ouch that hurts okay so we <laughs> have 49 agility that doesn't help much if you oh my gosh what is she doing? Oh my god, I'm playing against a god in person. Okay. Well, I think that I'm going to switch back to Victoria because, you know, when you're not really used to play with uh, some character, like me, I'm not used to play with Kaito, well, it doesn't give a very profitable experience. It's not my style, really, to play here. Uh, I have told you that to play the counter punches style so I just try to vary a bit here yeah, but when you're not used to it that's not that's not good that's not something that is wise to do oh my fortunately okay well the powerful forehand of Victoria well I miss them I think that I'm going to change back to Victoria, my dear Victoria. Oh my, that was very magnificent. Congratulations, uh, Cherry19921. Okay. Well. Okay, I anticipated here, but that's the problem. When the forehands are so powerful, well. He, she puts it a bit uh, too careless, in a careless way there. Oh, wow, she insisted on my back, on my forehand. Uh, okay. She definitely, I know, she definitely liked to play on this side of the court, but, you know, reading the pattern is one thing, but standing just there and waiting is... It's another thing, it's not very wise because obviously this uh, Cherry 1921 player knows what he's doing, she is doing, I mean, with uh, this number of trophies, over 1,800 trophies, um, she has a lot of experience. I, sh I say sh she because uh, she's playing Victoria, but obviously I think that uh, that was a male player, but anyway. Okay, so let's go back with Victoria and let's take the Syrian wire. I'm fed up with uh, with losing. Let's go. Okay, more precision right away. Okay, that's cool. I think that's uh, that's Maestro Monty. Okay, so that's the name of the string I was looking uh, for. Oh my gosh, what was that? Horrible, horrible strike. Oh, to, to a refined hit. Very, very inaccurate. Okay, oh, fortunately, my opponent is giving me back this point. 
that I lost? What a gift. Okay, well, no. She's not going to do... to give presents all the time. Okay. Alright, well, I take my own present now. Okay, let's play securely. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. I don't pass this net. Come on, let's go. Let's put the ball over the net. Oh my. Oh my gosh, three unforced errors. Oh my gosh, in like a in some very few points play that's that's a bit uh, yeah that's a bit bitter uh, okay well I have to swallow this bitter spill I think I don't think I can win this match yeah definitely not okay well she played better there I didn't read the pattern very well let's try and do better let's try and do better Okay. I'm still at the second place. Hold on. Let's go. My instrument here. Yeah. Again? Come on. Seriously? Okay, well. Let's go. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh. Come on, leave that. I put it on the line. I thought it was going out. Oh my. Come on. Yeah, it will be hard there. Yeah. She's going to push on my backhand let's go yeah obviously but all right looks like one more effort yes that's cool one more effort and that's the effort what has been paid duly well let's try and return uh, there's a cross court oh no finally i'm choose for that one that's more secure but hold on she's going to push yeah i know I know, I know, I know. That's her preferred spot. She likes to uh, to push on the uh, push hard on this angle on my backhand side. Anyway, oh my! Oh no! I shouldn't have taken that ball. That was out. That was going out. Come on! Let's keep the head cold. What did I do? Come on! Oh my! Gosh, I lost the point. I lost the point e uselessly there. In an useless way. Come on. I'm so hopeless. Oh my gosh. Well, let's hope that I can play better in the uh, next matches because that's definitely not w the tennis that I produce in regular matches. I can tell you that I, I don't play like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's probably the lack of speed. I don't know. Um, that's that's the truth. I, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm s I really like to play, you know, tennis at fast pace in the game. I mean, it, well, in real life as well. But it was a long time ago when I was a teen, and when I was playing like uh, three or four hours a day after school because uh, well we had a court very very close to our uh, our flat and where well, I went there all the time with my friends the uh, my mates in the same class so we were enjoying our matches our, our training sessions and that was fantastic that was a fantastic memory Okay, well, I end up winning that, but I I can't understand that sometimes I I make those unforced errors 
and I I shouldn't have I shouldn't have kept my head really cold yeah I, I don't know why I, I hit that ball when it was going out come on in regular matches I don't do that I can see more clearly I don't know why here yeah, I was doing okay another power so uh, well the forehand is not uh, a monster forehand so I think that we can deal with that especially if uh, we have the spare wire and that our opponent is playing with the nylon string okay so well she is obviously not maximizing her chance to win the match uh, because with a power serve and a, a relatively strong forehand I say relatively because it's uh, we are in a weekly tournament so but in regular matches if you have this kind of forehand you can say bye bye to all victories um, even if the card is not capped I mean she she wouldn't have like what uh, 50 something 50 52 53 forehand and that's not enough oh well it depends on the tour uh, that uh, she's playing of course but even in tour 6 I think that is, is a bit hard now uh, okay well let's go ouch that hurts right to make this kind of unforced error yeah let's go we have the advantage here let's outwit her yeah she must say to herself all the time too bad too bad oh come on why why do you uh, why does she uh, keep uh, making drop shots yeah I know that I know that she's going to hit on the on my backhand anyway just do drop shots so I'm doing I'm applying the uh, principles that I give the, the recommendations that I uh, offer in my tutorial my best tips video um, which is named and that you can find on the channel gameplay 365 which is named how to beat power serve plus strong forehand players I have already uploaded uh, two videos I think uh, of it so you can search for it and for them and, and take a look the uh, recommendations that I give as very common you know they they have nothing special just have to follow them to, and apply them they are really common I mean very easy to understand for people who have already played tennis and who know the, the principle but for players who discover a bit because when you play this game tennis clash you're not up you're not com it's not compulsory for you to be a tennis player in real life I mean everybody can play this game without being a without having even uh, hold a racket a real tennis racket in, in real life so a lot of people don't don't have I think the reflex the uh, you know this uh, this feeling this instinct that have that the the uh, the players the um, the people who have already played tennis in real life have so well if you have already played tennis you all understand that how to counter the power serve players because it's almost the same thing in in real life well it's, it's <laughs> except that in real life you don't you can't always make drop shots of course when you play um, a Kalovic, for instance, even if you are Roger Federer or Novak Djokovic, I mean, wh whatever a player, uh, the top top five players, you you don't you don't start making drop shots because that's almost impossible to make drop shots. That's very hard to make drop shots on Kalovic serves. They are so powerful, you know. You just have to try desperately to return the serve first or correctly in the court into his side. Of his score side and then and then afterwards well you execute her because obviously after a very very good um, some ridiculous monster serve after those serves uh, Ivan Kalovic um, I'm sorry to say that but uh, I'm sorry if they are fans of Ivan Kalovic who are watching but uh, well, she doesn't have. He doesn't have a lot of weapons after to follow up his serve. He doesn't have a very good uh, 
forehand or backhand or whatever or or slice or, or volley or no you know so it's mainly uh, the monster serve and then and then some accuracy to put the, the ball back into the court whenever possible for him so well but at least he has this weapon that a lot of uh, players would love to have Andy Roddick was a bit different Andy Roddick uh, was uh, I think a bit more skill on his forehand, for instance. He had a very decent forehand, Andy Rudick. Well, as for Samuel Groth, or um, oh my gosh, or Sam Query, well, I would say that those are a bit in the same category than Ivan Kalovich. They are not very uh, gifted with their forehand, backhands. But they do have more to serve. I think that Samuel Grot, Sam Grot, has the uh, the most powerful serve, the most powerful unofficial serve on the uh, on the ATP uh, tour. I have read that somewhere. I don't remember, but uh, it's not Kalovich. But Ivan Kalovich is the best if you take into account just the simple fact that he has. Um, the highest number of ace serves ever, even more than uh, Goran Ivanishevich, Ivanishevich, who was an excellent server and who has, who had a lot of charisma too, a lot of personality. I miss Goran Ivanishevich. I was so happy for when he when he uh, he won Wimbledon. I mean, that was awesome for him. I it was, I was like uh, for real. He won it. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was unreal. Well, every for everybody was happy for uh, Ivanicevic when he won the Wimbledon tournament, especially because uh, I think that I don't know. It has been a long time ago, but uh, I think that he came back from injury. Well, has been a long time. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. Either you hate him or you like him or you love him, but uh, Grand Ivanishevich is definitely not the kind of person who leaves someone totally indifferent. Okay, let's try. Wow, this one Sky Soul is trying to um, to play um, uh, a percentage tennis, trying to play to hold the serve at all course, playing accurate strokes and waiting a bit for the uh, player to the opponent to, uh, to commit an unforced error first well it didn't work here sorry sky soul okay so this one is not hitting on my backhand all the time let's try and remember that let's try and wrong foot her yeah it worked it she committed an unforced error after that I love that. I love to run foot my opponent, you know. Well, sometimes you just don't have to out run foot. You just have to out flank with a cross court kind of soft, but not too soft return on the low serve, and then you out flank totally with the other side. Well, she started. She has started to understand that I try to run foot her, so she's staying a bit uh, in the same corner now. She doesn't move uh, that much to the other side. Yeah, see? She is definitely someone who is uh, experienced and who knows what she's doing. She is reading my pattern of play. Okay. We're well, talking about pattern. Well, the top 50 players can tell you that they read marvelously the pattern of play of opponents. Well, of course, the fact that they have very high stats uh, is helping them as well to play uh, very fast all returns. They return super fast all my hits, you know, and all the other opponents hits. I mean, that's their specialty. They, 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 they are, well, they, they like to do that. They, they are trained to do that. They just want to hit very fast on the return. Uh, and well, 
you know sometimes you, you can't just keep the, the pace and that's why I like I like that I like playing at a fast pace because I'm so used to to meet them all the time I mean I don't know for other players to, who play on the tour seven but when I play ten match in the tour seven I I must meet I mean, I mean at least let me remember at least five or six times very high trophies players I mean a lot a lot of, of them and I have started at one moment you know <laughs> I have started thinking I should should I try and, and stop playing at the same time you know shouldn't change the time where I when I, I play a bit later maybe so that I, I won't see them but a lot of them still play for hours and I still see them there in, in the game so and anyway I have you know, at one time I have resolved myself to to accept that that you have to face the the best anyway to progress. You really have to uh, to get used to the high level. You have to face the best players to get your play improved, to have it uh, become better, because you will see the different moves that they this they do. You know, the different tricks when you play versus fly jamming, for instance. Well, he's varying a lot. He's diversifying on his uh, his shots, on his hits. And one time it's a long hit. One time it's a, uh, a mid-court hit. One time it will be a, a drop shot. One time it will be a very powerful forehand down the line. One time it will be a cross-court return on the serve. One time it will be a drop shot on the return. And wow, it was... It was fantastic playing well against those players. I like them a lot. They have allowed me to progress a lot. But I, honestly, I still have to green a bit of packs and to buy better Epic cards in uh, in the store whenever they appear. Because obviously, if I want to fight them on the same basis, or on the same level of skill, on the same, uh, to give myself a boost, you know, to uh, to have a chance to annoy them, to irritate them, well, I definitely need to uh, improve my, uh, to level up my, my cards. Right now, I still need one card, only one, imagine that, for the Forge. I have 59, and I need one more to have 60 and to level it up. I still need uh, two cards for the Koi, I think. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, it's... And uh, I need the Koi to um, for, for my own round this time I'm not playing with this style in regular matches I play with another style another lineup uh, uh, what I call an all around style actually so in the all round style it, uh, it has um, a decent agility a decent serve a good forehand even strong yeah, you can almost qualify it uh, as strong compared to some players uh, and a decent backhand and well with that you can fight uh, decently players having like uh, 2,400 2,500 trophies but when they have 3,400 trophies like uh, Halep or or Vida or um, uh, how do they, uh, well, the other guys have a Chinese names so Fly Chaming doesn't have a lot of uh, trophies, but I, I don't think that uh, he wants to have a very high trophy anyway. So, um, and he's alternating all the time with the characters, different characters, so you never know exactly when he's going to play with Kaito or with uh, Hop or with uh, uh, Victoria or other characters, so that's funny. Um, well, when you play against those uh, very high trophies, players clearly in the top uh, top 20 and that's very hard that's very hard and when I score one or two points against them I'm already saying to myself wow I I mean I go crazy you know I'm saying yeah that's my victory my my little victory <laughs> to score two points against uh, Halep for instance and well when you when you play against Halep and then and you see the fast pace that you have to put on, on the uh, on the rallies, and then you you play at this speed of slow mo. Well, um, 
I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not getting used to this face. And maybe yeah, that I'm repeating a bit, but uh, I find that a, a bit too bad that we can't have a, a better speed here. Of Whistley, I know, we are capping the car, so we can't have it. We can have a very high speed, but... And I'm not ready to go uh, on a challenger level yet, you know, to play with the cars at the level 9, so that I can play uh, f at a higher space, because on the challenger level, I try it once. Well, how do I say that? You can guess that. There are a lot of monster Kaitos there, a lot of Grand Slam players, Grand Slam uh, leagues, very experienced players there, and that's almost impossible for uh, just average player like me to uh, to go there. I tried once, I didn't pass the qualifying round. I finished uh, like 60 something, and we were 50 to qualify in my bracket. 50? Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think it was 50. I don't remember exactly. It's another. It's another bracket. It's an it's another um, number of qualified players for the challenge level. It's not twenty five. Okay, because there are there are less brackets. I think there are less players in the uh, in the challenger level. So okay, let's go. And because there is a lack of players in the challenger level of the weekly tournaments, I mean, um, they have to uh, to pick. They uh, have to pick up players from um, Challenger 3 uh, and Challenger 2 sometimes. I have uh, seen some of them. So they are merging all players of uh, all leagues in the Challenger level. They're not separating. Okay. Let's go. Well, we have done better now. Seeing some matches, as you can see. It's better, of course, when you uh, play with a, a better string. And the Siberian Wire, the Punisher got a uh, very good string, of course, to counter anything. Well, I made the. Uh, I shouldn't have taken the Punisher got here. I shouldn't have taken the uh, Siberian Wire because this melee is having a, a, a slightly higher. Oh my gosh, I start to play inaccurately again. Come on. What is that? What is that? The Empire Speaks this one. What's wrong with you? I can't believe myself sometimes, but you know. Anyway, well, okay, my opponent is is doing mistakes too. He's committing unforced errors too. Okay. Oh my gosh, critical hits! There. No chance, no chance at all for me. It was an outstanding forehand miss, mainly. Oh, plus I am doing what I'm doing. That's that's ludicrous. Totally so bad. That is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is weird. Okay, I can't play. I can't play. I don't know why. This match, I have kind of dropped this match. Yeah. Okay, so my lady is kind of uh, Kato, but uh, a female Kato. Okay, I will try hard, but you know, I think that uh, that will be all. Oh well, it's not too bad. I scored at least three points here. I thought that it was I was going to uh, to lose like a uh, one seven or two seven, but well, it's not too bad. I still score some points that will be helpful at the time of making the final account. Oh yeah, four points. Cool. Here we go. Well, the name of this opponent is not giving me a lot of hope. She's obviously bringing me bad news. Haha. <laughs> awesome. How can I have equalized? I don't understand myself. Wow. On the baseline. Can't believe that. Very well done, miss. Um, I say miss because... As I told you, I don't know if the avatar behind this avatar is sometimes maybe maybe is uh, a female player. I don't know. 
using just the Facebook account of uh, her husband. We never know. Okay, how could I lead here? I don't understand. Okay, oh my gosh. I shouldn't have remembered that. She's keeping hitting on that side whenever I, I serve on the on this service box where she is now. Oh my gosh, how can I end up winning this match? How on nerf? For real? I mean, this is <laughs> this is stunning. I can't believe that. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful victory. I can't believe that. I was so behind her, and I don't know. I don't know where is the comeback started, but I came back from nowhere, out of the blue here. Oh my gosh. That was an awful result for her. She was winning the match and then she started a bit like me. You know, during the first matches of this uh, tournament round, I was leading like 3-0, 4-1, etc. And then I started to lose control of the match, so I, I can't understand. Okay, let's insist on his um, weak hand. That means his uh, forehand. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, this is fascinating how I can deliver such a un unforced errors at a, such a regular pace oh my gosh that must be d very difficult you know to make so many unforced errors in the same oh my oh my so delightful yeah so cool irony of course so cool delectable Ay, my gosh. Okay, let's try and do better. Yeah, I start to do better now. Oh, oh, my. oh come on. This is the third time. This is the third time I'm hitting to the exact same spot. That's very rare, you know. It's a, a rare phenomenon. I commit the three and four zeros at almost the same spot. I mean, that's... Okay, yeah, let's try to hit a bit in more inside the court because I like to hit the line, you know, on the line. I like to play cross court, big cross court forehand, but in the corner, really in the corner. Like a, I, I think a lot of other opponents of my opponents like to do that as well because it's a real pleasure. Oh my gosh! Oh my! I don't have I don't have the memory to commit so many errors in the same match what I'm doing. Seriously, I think that I should go back to rookie level because <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not possible. This should not be allowed. I should be banned from Tennis Clash for playing so bad. Come on. I can't believe that. If I win that match, I would not understand. Yeah. I think that I'm going to lose this match. It's not possible to lose, uh, to win with that uh, form, that bad form. So so low accuracy. Yeah, yeah. That was very foreseeable. That was very easy to expect as a result, as a negative outcome of this match. I have committed so many enforcer errors that is almost inacceptable. Even in, I mean, oh come on. Anyway, let's change the surround wire. Here. Oh, a power serve, and volley. Ah, I like volley players as well. Well, this one doesn't have a lot of agility, so that's cool. Because I have faces a lot. I can tell you that a lot of uh, very very high agility volley players. I mean very high agility and very high volley attributes. And I have made some tutorial videos as well. Name uh, how to counter volley players having huge agility. So I'm going to apply the principles here. And I'm going to s uh, sum up a bit the principles. First, um, just hit hard into the corners. Hit hard, really hard into the two corners. 
you know one of them just choose don't bother uh, about hitting what but wi which one because obviously it's better to uh, of course to um to hit to hit uh, on the, the side um that your uh, opponent doesn't expect you to play because she's going to close the space up one oh my gosh could have been perfect there um to close one space you know one side of the court like here yeah she 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 was closing that side and shouldn't have played the other side but sometimes you know um you have to think fast and and you want to uh, to play securely you know you want to place your ball in a secure spot here yeah, yeah there was big passing forehand love that and um yeah well things are in all, all in my best tips video on how to win over uh, versus um, the volley players having a high agility but uh, so uh, hit into the corners and then hit cross court very strong cross court forehand on the return of the serve well that's a bit harder when your volley opponent has a very high serve attribute as well some i have faced some players especially uh, those at who are uh, in the top 50 who have a uh, high agility high overlay attributes and high serve where the not extremely high but pretty high and they are like impossible to beat because they are very very hard to outflank and they have no real weakness, uh, no weak point. So you know, of course they have a strong, um, a, la, a weak forehand and a weak backhand. They don't have strong weak forehand or backhand, but I mean they compensate totally with their agility and the serve and volley. So okay, let's come back to the skater. Well. Now that I play with a better string, it's much easier for me to handle on those Kaito players. Except when I start playing on um, on the SHIT mode again. I don't want to pronounce this word. Uh, okay. Well. Let's do this, and this works every time. Because your opponent doesn't expect you to do that, of course. Especially the uh, Victoria characters, because they are not used to, uh, to, to finesse. They want, they like to hit hard. They uh, they don't play the, this kind of, uh, of hits. You know, this kind of uh, soft it's oh my gosh I forgot to free some slots for my bags oh my that is interesting I think I'm going to keep that set up for my w next weekly tournament so that will be the aggressive baseliners build with low serve but with uh, a very good string uh, that will be uh, that will be enough I and mean, that's that works pretty well since I have adapted to this build well let's try again let's do one rematch to improve uh, this uh, golden tie break score that I have uh, suffered, that's uh, a very severe loss of 0 07. That was insane. I, well, I dropped the, uh, the match a bit. Okay, well, I hope I can do better, especially if the, uh, <laughs> the game gives us uh, the possibility to see the court uh, and doesn't. You know, place the camera a bit, uh, whatever, uh, in a uh, in a very really weird mode. Okay, this works well. I like to do that. Okay. All right, let's insist on his forehand, which is his, which is here his uh, weak hand, and. Okay, he tried to outflank me, but it didn't work. Alright, here we go. 
I have lost almost my stamina, you know, so, you know, when you don't have a lot of stamina, you have to uh, shorten the rally as, more, as much as possible. So I have sometimes this pressure, this extra pressure that I have to finish the rally in uh, like uh, five or six hits max. Otherwise, I will have no more stamina. But every player participating to the um, to, to weekly tournament and playing with Victoria is is aware um, of this issue, this stamina issue, and well, a lot of them play with uh, the choker cord or the uh, Maestro Monty that gives uh, stamina shield. I have chosen not to to go that way. I have chosen to play aggressive all the time. Well, except uh, the matches the way I yeah, that worked well here. Yeah. Now I have tried Kaito in during this weekly uh, tournament round, but most of, most of the time I like to uh, to assault you know uh, the opponent with uh, big forehand whenever possible. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do a second rematch to the champs. Yeah, it's not too much yet. The third match will cost 800 gems, so I'm going to. Well, uh, I'm facing Glenn. There's uh, a third between us, but I'm not going to uh, tell much more about that. He knows what we talk about, uh, and that's all. I think that I have explained myself a bit uh, clear enough. And, well, he. He didn't want to uh, to reply to make things worse. So well, I, I I hope that my explanation was clear enough. That's all. Okay, let's try. Let's try and do my best. I try to do my best all the time, you know, versus all players, all opponents, not. So not only versus uh, players who have uh, some uh, some personal <laughs> issue with me, but anyway, if I can win this match, well, it will be a pleasure. Okay. Well, I start to. I think that I start to see how he plays. I have never faced him before, here beforehand. I think that uh, I greened too much in the Tour 7 and he, he doesn't play a lot in the Tour 7 yet, so I think that uh, we don't have a chance to meet yet in the Tour 7. But he's plays, he plays well, he plays well. Well, he, he's committing a bit of uh, errors here, but uh, he knows how what he's doing. Yeah, very good, very good, really. Very nice shot. Well, if I can win this match, I will, it will be nice, because he's a very good player. Okay, well, that's cool. That was the second rematch. I don't think I'm going to play uh, the third rematch. It's going to cost a bit uh, too much. Okay, so that was the same attributes uh, for this um, player, clan, than uh, a lot of Kaito that I have played recently. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, different matches. As you can see here, trying again would cost me 800 gems, so no. Even though I have enough champs, I'm going to save those champs to open the bags because I, I like to green bags a lot. Some subs have, cause <laughs> have uh, j made some jokes saying that I'm a sandbagger, a serious sandbagger, and I have no problem to assume that. I know. <laughs> I pay for champs to open bags, and so what? This is, this is my choice. No, I have no problem with uh, players who, who play for free. And. And I, I just want that um, 
players respect the the other players who who play on a pay to win mode. I mean, okay, uh, I pay to get the epic cards, and so what? It's a, that's a choice. It's my choice. I I do whatever I, I want with my my money. I I'm not stealing your money to play to buy those gems. So okay, that's uh, that's just a, a choice of investment. Well, I hope uh, his I finished the second place. I hope you enjoy watching me play the tournament round of um, the April Fool's weekly tournament. Here's my line up. In case you are curious about uh, the cards that I, I use to get this uh, this lineup in a weekly tournament, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay Three Six Five. Stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon again, Play 365. Bye-bye.